Hi, my name's John, one of the technical trainers at the Wiesman Training Academy. Today we're going to have a closer look at the Vidical 150 and the 151 air source heat pump. We will firstly look at the indoor unit of the 150. All the components inside the Vidical 150 are exactly the same as the Vidical 151, except for the Vidical 151 has a 190 litre unvented cylinder. So let's have a look at the indoor unit of the Vidical 150. In a previous video I showed you how to remove the service cover and that was by two spring loaded clips located at the bottom, one on the left and one on the right. Gently bring forward, gentle push up and the service cover can then be removed by the two retaining hooks at the top here. Before we have a look at the components, we need to remove the uh, HMI. I would suggest fingers on either side here, pull the front fascia off, and the reason for this, you can take off the whole plastic housing together, but this is a glass screen, you don't want it coming off and falling on the floor. Okay, there's two retaining clips here, one on the right, one on the left. Gentle push up, and that's the plastic housing removed, but you've just got to remove this harness here. There you go. Right, gently bring down this control box. Inside there, there's one printed circuit board, and one printed circuit board to the right here. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the components. 16 litre buffer um, vessel here used for a defrost, expansion vessel here, overheat stat just located there and then just down the bottom here you've got your four-way ESBY valve. At the moment you can tell that's in heating, it can move to the buffer vessel and all the way to hot water and in between if needed. You've got a three bar pressure relief valve, an additional heater if needed, and to the right of that, a heat transfer fluid circulating pump. So we've just had a look at the Vidical 150 indoor unit, so let's have a look at the outdoor unit. The outdoor units for the Vidical 150 and the 151 are exactly the same. Okay, so let's have, take a look. Okay, this is the outdoor unit for the Vidical 150 and the 151 air source heat pump. We've taken all the covers off this because we use it for training for demonstration purposes. If we start at the back of the evaporator here, this is where all the ambient air is being drawn through these aluminium fins and the heat energy will be absorbed into the refrigerant. One thing to note with the evaporator that this is coated to prevent corrosion. Right, if we move round to the front, this will be a dual fan. So this will be the 10, 13 and 16 kilowatt, the larger kilowatts. This is the top fan. And if we drop down here, that's the second fan here. And if you can see my hands just through here, that's where the condense port is. So you can choose to terminate as you wish. Okay, if we move around to the side. Before I talk through some of the major components, I just want to point out there's two carry straps on this side and one on the other. And this will be just for lifting up the outdoor unit and putting into position. This side is far heavier because you've got your refrigeration circuit and the compressor. You've also got a little transport bolt down there that will need to be loosened off and this will free up the refrigeration circuit and the compressor. You've got your inverter here because it's a variable speed compressor. This is refrigerant cooled for higher efficiencies. Your condenser at the front of the unit and when I mentioned earlier about the heat energy being absorbed by the evaporator, it will be compressed by the compressor, brought back over to here and then rejected into your heat transfer fluid, which is the fluid between your indoor and outdoor unit. If 
you just have a look here, there's two flow and return connections. This will be to your indoor unit and they're connected just underneath here. To the left of these, you've got your mains power cable in and your CAN bus communication cable. And again, these will be two plugs underneath the unit next to the flow and return. You've got your compressor here and this is an R290 compressor and this is specifically di designed for R290 to cope with higher temperature and higher pressure. This is a safety evacuation valve and this is purely there as a precaution just in case there was any issue in the condenser because you've got that refrigerant high pressure and that heat transfer fluid it will safely evacuate any propane in the outdoor unit than rather being brought into the indoor unit. Okay, so we've had a look at the Vidical 150 and the 151, the indoor and the outdoor unit. We've had a brief look at the components, but if you'd like to know more about the components or the products themselves, then please book one of our training sessions. And I hope you found this video useful. Look forward to seeing you soon.